Hello YouTube, this is Mark from Phonesmith. Today I'll be teaching you how to unlock a Google Lock on a Google Pixel 3. This is the latest one that just came out. So after you sign into your Wi-Fi, I already signed into mine, as you can see on the top right. Just click Don't Copy. I'm going to show you guys that I have a Google Lock associated with this device. So as you can see, your phone was reset to factory settings. To use this phone, enter previous pen. I don't have it. So now I get ready to the Google account setup. So verify your account with your Google account. The device was reset to continue signing in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. I don't have it because the account because the phone is Google Lock. So this will help you if you misplace your email or password. So let's continue and start on with the unlock. So first, guys, you need a locked SIM card. A locked SIM card. If you don't know how to lock your SIM card or you wanna, you know, a quick tutorial, click on the video right here. I made a quick tutorial for you guys so you guys can use it to lock a SIM card. I'm telling you how to do it on iPhone or Android and how to lock your own SIM card so you can do it for this tutorial. So just click on the link in the video or look in the description. So you get your locked SIM card, you put your locked SIM card inside the phone. After you do that, you're gonna press the power button to turn the screen off. Turn it back on with the power button again. And now you have this little SIM card lock thing. So now we're gonna take out that SIM card once again we do not need it anymore inside the phone. Get your little whole SIM card puncher tool. All right, you want to say punch it. Pull it out. Take out your SIM card. I took out my SIM card. So now what I'm going to do, press the power again. And bring it back to that screen. So now we got this little box right here. So basically what I'll need you guys to do, swipe to the right or left, click this little settings icon. After you click the little settings icon, click this little I. After you click the I, now you're gonna go to Advanced, go to Browser App. After you go to Browser App, make sure Chrome is your selected browser app. After you make sure that's good, now we're gonna go to Opening Links. We'll go to Opening Links. We're gonna swipe all the way down to YouTube. Click YouTube. After you click YouTube, you're gonna click that top right here too. Click YouTube. After you do that, go to go to Notifications. After you go to Notifications, click Advanced and click additional settings in the app. After you click that guys, go to about. After you go to about, go to Google Privacy Policy. And when you get here guys, now, I'll be putting this link in the description. bit.ly slash two, capital A, capital N, V-E-N-E, -E. okay. It's a media fire link basically going to uh you know just to show you what media fire is in store after that we're going to download all of these four files right here we're going to download all of these four files google account manager apex launcher vn rom and quick shortcut maker so we're going to download quick shortcut maker first download okay go back to media fire then download VNROM next. Okay. After you download that, click X to all these out. Go back to Media Fire. Lock that is trying to send dumb stuff to the phone. After that, go to Apex Launcher. Download Apex Launcher. Okay. Lock again. It's trying to shoot ads to the phone. Download Google Account Manager. Okay, perfect. All right, so now since we have all that downloaded, now we're gonna go to the top top left to those three bubbles, top right to those three bubbles, click downloads, and there we have everything downloaded, perfect. Now I want you guys to download FRP VN ROM first, go to settings, allow source, next, install, VN ROM. Done, do not open it. Go to Apex Launcher, click install. Done. After you go to Apex Launcher, go to install. Apex Launcher, click open. Click these four bubbles at the top. I mean, well, click the home button, then that opens up the app launcher. Go to settings. I just want to make sure the security thing is enabled. Bingo, perfect. All right, now let's go to files. 
this is why I want you guys to download Quick Shortcut Master. Install Quick Shortcut Master. Done. And then install Google Account Manager 6. Done. Perfect. All right. Now, since that's situated, go to Quick Shortcut Master. After you do that, type in G O O G L E. If it doesn't load up after you do that, I want you guys to swipe, keep going down, swipe down, swipe down, swipe down, swipe down, until you get to G. When you get to G, should be, one second, there you go, Google Account Manager, right here. And you can select the one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth Google Account Manager, which is the one that ends in login, the long one with login activity all the way at the end, like the longest one. That's his login activity. Click it, click try. After that, go to the top right, these three bubbles, go to browser sign in, click OK. You're gonna put your email, your personal, or any, you know, any Gmail you have, to be honest, inside there, inside that box. Click sign in. Perfect. All right. Click back, back. Now go to settings. You can just tap the screen when if that box comes up, just tap the screen. Do not click cancel or anything, just tap the screen, it'll just go away without you having to cancel or anything. After that comes up, uh, after you go to settings, just go to apps. Now, after you go to apps, go to see all 31 apps, then go to the top right with the three bubbles, show system apps. Now, we're looking for Google Account Manager once again to uninstall it. There you go, Google Account Manager. Click uninstall, click OK. After you uninstall Google Account Manager, press your power button and restart the device. After you finish restarting it, you have successfully removed the Google Lock on your phone or on the Google Pixel 3. And you can use your phone with complete access now without having any issues. And I'll be showing you guys you know, the end result right now. Give me one second, I'll show you guys as soon as it comes up. All right, so click start, skip. So I'll check for update once again. Next, next, no cable, okay. Don't copy. The account has been added. So again, guys, you're successfully in there. As soon as you get in there, you just wanna to go to this account, go to settings, and then just do a factory reset of the phone. After you do a factory reset, guys, you're free. You can do whatever you want. And yeah, guys, that's it, man. That's really all you need. And about finish your touches and perfect bang. Now I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna just reset the phone.